Hey guys, it's Nick here. I just want to welcome you to Factive Family out there. What we want to try and do are more podcasts. So let's get into the first one. It's about the role of a central midfielder. I know a lot of you guys are going to love this. It's with me and Corby. If you guys don't know who Corby is, Corby is a former Bayern Munich player. He grew up in Germany. He played for what is, you know, one of the world's top three youth academies. Um, um, interestingly enough, David Alaba was his coach at one stage. Um, and he's got a lot of wisdom to share, especially as a central midfielder. Well, let's just get right into it. Let's get right into it. Today's discussion is going to be a quick class. Masterclass, Masterclass on the role of a central midfielder. I think people are wondering, what is the role of a central midfielder? The main role of a, of a midfielder, or especially of a central midfielder, is to connect the, like the defenders with the attack. That means as a central midfielder, you always have to, you always have to give the defenders an option to pass to, because that's, that's your main job. Let, let's break it down into the most important attributes of a central midfielder or skills let's say the first skill being passing both long and short second being first touch yeah. Yeah. under pressure yeah not just first touch in general but first touch under pressure yeah third thing probably stamina running stamina. a lot mm-hmm. to i mean not just to like track back and everything but like to you always have to create opportunities for your teammates to pass to you have to be involved in attacking and defending so yep. stamina really important stamina too not necessarily speed yeah. stamina yeah. passing first touch stamina and awareness yeah. of the players around you for example great midfielders are always going to be the ones that create space for their mm-hmm. team yeah. um, and anticipation mm-hmm. knowing what's going to happen anticipating what's going to happen one two three passes ahead yeah maybe number six i would say strength so Mm -hmm. being able to shield the ball i mean you look at someone like kante who's quite small five foot five foot seven something like that maybe small he's tiny yes he's small but he's extremely strong on the ball and off the ball i mean he he wins the ball against players that are much bigger than him Mm -hmm. like popa and um, yeah, so strength, I would say. And then last thing, which is hard to train on your own, maybe, but speed of play. So which comes with kind of with your passing abilities, mm-hmm. probably your first touch, a bit, like how your first touch is, but also just how quick you are in your mind, mm-hmm. which comes with experience. And yeah, so there we go. There are the skills yeah. you need to know as a central Midfielder. Yeah. Uh, I saw something interesting here. So the the Kyrgyzstan team are switching play. Um, we have a midfielder coming. You can already see he's scanning for the ball, looking to see what's around him, and then he's saying, "Give me the ball." Yes. Um, you talked about angles, mm-hmm. having two options available right yeah. now. What are his two options on the ball? Uh, for the white player getting the ball for the white well mm. he obviously he can still pass back mm. just and then you see that player is running here to give him an option yes players should come in here to give him another option mm. and then even if he turns around he might even be able to pass here or here with a good ball let's but see what happens so I mean the player does other player does drop in make an yeah. angle and that's what he passes to yeah um if I was a midfielder, I would play this ball first time to the wing because you do see the winger making a run. Yeah. But it has to be a good ball. Yep. Takes. Mm-hmm. So he could have just slot him through. Yeah. yeah. Now we, we, we have quite a gap between midfielders and attackers here. Yeah. So Can a midfielder make him, himself available here with the defender coming up and he's got a bit of space in front of him? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think... In, in this situation, what, what the midfielder actually does is he drags this player away mm. to make space for the striker, I believe it's a striker or winger, to get into this space to receive the ball. So um, he actually does help the defender. Yeah. It and just doesn't seem like it. I think that's something that also people... Um, wanting to be a great central midfielder, you need to know yeah. that it's not about always you getting the ball. No, 
100%. It's not about you just getting the ball. It's about creating space mm -hmm. for others to drive into. For example, here. Um, so although it's not so obvious, yeah. the white, white player, <coughs> we're just coming up to this. We just pause it, pause it here again. This um, player with the ball can drive into space because the central midfielder is not crowding his mm -hmm. space and is making a run away, taking away a blue defender so he can drive in a little bit more. So, I mean, if you've played at any, like, probably good teams or even bad teams, they, they will always, the coaches will always tell you about the triang triangles that you have to mm -hmm. create as a, as a team. So they always have to be at least two options for a player to pass to. If we just take that back, it was a, a, a player in the middle here. Um, ball comes in the air. It's kind of all over the place, scrambling. But that's, again, what we just talked about, strength. Yeah. To shove that defender off the ball yeah. without causing a foul. Um, and then yeah, getting yeah. stuck in again to keep possession of the ball Good and possible yeah. and not only possible but continue his run as well yeah. uh, and shame that wasn't a goal but it all started from winning that ball back in the midfield yeah. strong midfield can transition to good attacks so foul foul here we look at a, a player right in the middle of the screen um, midfielder marked by the blue. You see, he's gonna make a short move, like direction change in this. Or yeah, direction this change. And then boom, boom back to. Well, I mean, he didn't get the ball, but still. Yeah. And even if we take it back again, um, if we look at this one more time. Yeah. He cuts back tries to get the ball. I mean, Kyrgyzstan is not bad with their movement. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I've seen a couple of rotations here yeah. in the midfield. Actually, in this case, the winger, the number, I think 18, mm -hmm. at the far uh, right of the screen actually makes a run inside. And then there's yeah. a switching. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a fullback, the switching Fullback is pressing kind of high. Yeah. Winger is dropping in. Um, and if he had just made uh, that, connected that pass, then that fullback was all free yeah. on the wing, and that could have created a chance. If you analyze one player, mm. you know, and this is why I always preach like, get a notebook, write notes in the effective platform, if you remember yeah. as well, is write notes of games you see. Uh, keep analyzing one player. For me, um, I used to I used to look a lot at the off the ball movements of players mm -hmm. in my own position. To close things up, um, and this is especially for the members on the the train affected platform who are looking for the exercises and jewels to do as a central midfielder. Um, first of all, a program to follow, passing and finishing program. Um, it's going to be a great one for every central midfielder out there. Uh, we also are going to have any two-player workout. It's always going to be great. Um, you get a lot of touches on the ball, a lot of passing on the ball, a lot of short passing, one-touch, two-touch movement kind of stuff. Um, the tight spaces workout is going to be great. As a midfielder, you're always going to be in tight spaces. Um, for the attacking midfielders out there, the attacking movement workout is going to be good. Uh, crafty controller is working on a lot of one-touch uh, things in it directional control kind of stuff. Um, and the wall workouts, big thing in Train Effective. Um, do the wall workouts because they are gonna focus on your one touch, two touch technique, uh, even sometimes your awareness and scanning on the ball. Um, and uh, especially when you're doing all these kind of workouts and you put them in a calendar over one to two to three months, four months, you are going to see massive improvement. So there you go, central midfielders. These are the workouts you can do on the Train Effective platform. If you're not a member yet, 
um, as this is a podcast now, <laughs> if you're not a member yet, uh, let's create something for podcast peep, peep, peeps, podcast effective fam out there. Um, if you want to get effective, ten percent off coupon. Uh, if you go to traineffective.com, uh, enter the coupon podcast. That's about it. That was our class today. So from Nick, from Corby, from the Effective House in London. See ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe and check out our last video. Stay effective.